ACY stock short squeeze. Is Eurocentury Corp stock a buy? Eurocentury is probably up more or less 57.01% in this pre market, in this live session of the 5th of. Uh, April 2021 we can see what's going on here it's up 42% roughly at some point it was up 63% so this is what's going on right now live on the 5th of April of April 2021 based on this one minute model you can see it has retraced from this high of $16.04 down to $13.12.96 it got some support from the the 200 day trend line that is a long term trend line based on this one minute model so right now it's currently mixing things up with its i would say all of its trend lines apart from this long day long term 200 day trend line because the momentum is just a bit flat because as, as a matter of fact it's getting oversold because we can see it's you know getting some support from that 10 day trend line but, the MACD is uh, definitely below the signal line, indicating it's just in the in the interim quite bearish at the moment. So, um, a recentury up forty percent now. There's this talk whether this is uh, as a result of short squeeze. Obviously, you know that a recentury is filing for bankruptcy, and it is the sort of stock that will attract short sellers and uh, a lot of uh, Wall Street betters. You know the new recent. Uh, market participants they you know they are all out on anything that is a short squeeze and the rumors out there but we have not found anything concerning every century as, 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 as regards a uh, short squeeze movement or anything like that but what is most certain is that a company that is filing for, for bankruptcy is like a freshly uh, um, a freshly uh, slaughtered uh, uh, chunk of meat right in the open desert you know everybody's gonna come all the scavengers and all the, the predators are gonna uh, arrive on the scene and uh, you know take advantage uh, you know that's what shot sellers will, uh, are very much like you know this is a stock that is literally working around smelling of flesh of, of, of fresh fresh blood that is you know why you know we are asking is this as a result of short squeeze you know we you know we can't really say for sure for sure you know we can't it doesn't uh, trace that pattern enough for us but you know indeed it could any it could be anything it could be anything you know we can um it's the fact that um it keeps on extending keeps on gives in giving them the opportunity to to shot this this could well be as a result of a shot this you know this decline we were seeing here, and this could well be as as as, as a result of a squeeze, and all of these, you know. But the, you know, it could be anything. It could be anything, indeed, you know. But what is most certain is that you can't remove short sellers from what's going on here. Now you can't you extract them from the squeeze that is going on here. They push upwards. You know, we can't absolutely say that it's not because of them that this is going up. I mean why would it be going up you know the stock is you know the company itself is going into bankruptcy so it has to be there's a good chance that it is has attracted short sellers or rather market participants are aware that it's going public uh, going bankrupt and they all they all uh, came armed to attack those who will uh, start to shut it so this is not the second this is probably the second session this is happening the last trading session was on the uh, the first of April, so today is the fifth, given the holidays. So this is what we are looking at right now. You know, there's a good chance that it's a battle between the short sellers and the short squeezers. You know, so is Aero Century currently up fifty point fifty one percent? Now we can see now it has just broken through all of those short trend lines, um, but still getting some resistance at the. 14.76 dollars so it has actually extended way beyond that we might see something else when we look at the five minute model we might see some a different uh, extension from this okay we what, what we are okay what we have is 16.24 nothing higher than that so far let's look at a 10 day 10 point 10 minute model we might see something higher than that it's still giving us 16 
point okay nothing higher than that let's give it a go at 15 15 minute model let's see let's see nothing higher than that so we just let's re re return to the one minute live and it's currently up now 46.39 yeah, this is what's going on right now. Momentum is getting stronger. MACD is uh, trying to supersede the signal line based on this one minute model, the livest of it all. So this is what's going on with Aero Century. If we have to return, we will try and have a look at the short interest here. It says it's 3% and increased by 357%. I, I, I think this is pretty much what we saw during that last session. We covered the uh, Aero Century so it, the current value is about thirty-seven thousand. it's obviously a very small float stock you can see here that's um pardon our loss of memory although memory you can see a float of 1.54 million shares so we, we have to also inculcate this fact the fact that it also has a small float this would definitely or we can see trading is halted so there is something going on there Absolutely, so see trading halted. This is this happened in the in the, in the past in the last session we we covered it. So there's also a good chance that when it opens, there's a, you know they might uh, retrace. So amongst other things, you know the fact that it has a small float, 1.2 million, definitely, definitely will be impacting things. It, it, it will uh, definitely uh, affect its volatility. So. This is what we're looking at right now, amongst other things. And if short sellers are coming in and short squeezers are coming in, and also you combine this very low float it has, we will see this this sort of volatility right here, right here, as you as you're seeing, you know. So it's currently uh, halted at the moment. We'll see whether it's going to be allowed to trade again. I don't think there's any filing issues with a century. I think the halt is uh, very much precautionary. We saw that in the past. We saw that in the last uh, trading session. Hopefully, we'll see it also resume again as we did uh, that last time. We probably witnessed about two haltings in one of those uh, live coverages we had in that last uh, session. So let's let's see what's going to happen. Fingers crossed, it should uh, it should allow it to uh, trade on. So it's halted. It was halted at uh, 61.5 percent gain or extension, up uh, by 5.97 dollars. So let's let's see how how things pan out. Fingers crossed. Momentum all up. Uh, the uh, above signal line. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 61.55 percent yes let's see let's uh, give it a go let's who's who's got the key uh, let let the stock go man let's let's start playing let's start trading yes i believe uh, the halting is to cool things off and um scare those who are um, um who've got weak, weak hands or weak hearts that's concerning acy but unfortunately this tends to um, affect those who are uh, who it tends to scare off those who are already there already and you know they might uh, begin to sell off and indeed also the short sellers might also jump in and uh, you know hit it from there you can see it's up now 61.5 five percent I believe it's not as high as, as it was as it got earlier on I got to 1619 so it's currently at 1567 so regardless they will still be um, trying to shut it from here as well so let's see how things uh, pan out it's uh, in, a, in a very short time and I believe this they will be unhalted so so far 467,581 shares cross the tape based on this one minute model yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see how things uh, pan out there's a good chance uh, it's going to resume trading now because um, there isn't anything really wrong, wrong with the stock. It's just to control the the madness, the uh, frenzy that is going on with it. I believe you know. So anytime soon, I believe this will uh, it it will begin to trade again. Yes, let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Every century up um, sixty one point five five percent. While we're at it, we can just uh, return and see what's going on here based on the daily model. Um, this obviously is on uh, 
the platform of Charles Schwab, by far the most um, advanced of uh, trading platforms in the US. So based on all we have seen, you can see the MACD, the, the unbalanced volume indicator, it is still pretty positive. Suggest that buyers are presently more active than sellers. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is also rising and improving. We can, we, we can equally see that the stock has still since extended beyond what they ever traded in the last one year. And it says here as well that uh, price crossed below uh, 50 day trend line today. It did, but I believe it has since, okay, you can see that price dropped and extended as well. So it is uh, quite fascinating, see? Let's see, okay, uh, no, 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 not, not today. So it says Christ, Christ, price cr crossed below. Um, okay, maybe it did, but, and it just picked it up. So say price dropped through the 50 day moving average of $9.42 on, on above average volume. So this was just an event that was recorded. So that's quite fascinating. So we're seeing some super high volatility and that we're talking about nine okay we can, yes suddenly has been uh it has been uh unhalted you can see it's trading now actually has even extended further so contrary to what we were expecting we were, we were expecting the retracement we didn't get that so um we're seeing something some of it right now but uh currently up 62 percent now yes currently up 60 70 percent we're looking at right now so he has actually um, retraced beyond that uh, figure. It's currently now at an, uh, a recent high of 1622, now 16, whatever it is. Yeah, so currently extending and extending. Strongly bullish at the moment. MACD above signal line. Momentum is just uh, um, pulling back a bit. So Yes, as we were saying, there's a good chance. You know, this is this stock is definitely uh, uh, filing uh, battling with bankruptcy. Um, there's a good chance uh, uh, market participants are aware or based on ex based based on experience that short sellers are going to start to cycle and uh, they, have, they have joined the fray now to flush them out, and indeed also make uh, money on, on them themselves. You know, so. This is what's going on now. Aero century up roughly, okay, retracing now to 54% right now. Getting some support from the 50 day trend line has broken through the 10 day trend line. Momentum is uh, depreciating. MACD is also trying to break through its uh, signal line. So, but, but it's uh, holding it strong there at 55% roughly. So yes, it's the push and the shove is going on right now. I strongly believe that you know it has something to do to, to do with uh, short selling and short squeezing, and also giving the short floats we have seen on the stock only 1.5 million. So, um, hopefully, you know the, the, this the, the, if if it continues to extend and extend uh, to a reasonable extent, if it extends to up to 30 dollars or thereabouts, I believe they might they you know there's a good chance they may be permitted to issue more or raise more capital or and all that stuff raise more stock you know because um you know it's uh, stock has you know looked up you know that's was what 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 we saw with um i believe correct me if i wrong if i'm wrong kodak or um um, uh, um the um uh the tietha one and um, yes, I believe this is what happened with them. Or Coast 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 uh, Corp, Coast Corporation. I believe uh, they they had that opportunity. Or uh, they were facing this sort of uh, issues. It may not necessarily be that they they were filing for bankruptcy, but uh, they. I believe one of them. It was if he, if he, correct me if I'm wrong. If it's if it's if it were, I believe it's probably Kodak. They were allowed to uh, issue more. Um, issue more f stock or rather irreasonable funds one of those you know so i just let's fingers crossed you know we will uh we would like this company to uh, you know restructure you know you know find a way forward you know there's a lot of interest in stock right now it has extended by a huge amount now three about three times what it closed at as at the 30 at the, as at the 31st of march you know we're trading at three dollars and some fraction currently it's up about uh, roughly 16 dollars so that is way more than five times uh, what it was at uh, 
during that uh, session which was just not even up to a week ago so every century up 63 percent now in this live session of the 5th of april so uh, we're not sure what it is it is a case of uh short and squeeze or the influence of uh, a small float or the company or the combination of the three of them so yes yeah, it's, it's uh, fascinating now for a recent century so uh, we'll continue to update you if you're new to this channel subscribe like and share thank you very much for watching